The course itself is a bridge course. It's not academic. It is to help youngsters or anybody who is taking up conservation for the long term to understand the basics of it in applying it and to understand the nuances of what is needed to go and apply in the field. What I'd like to do within this course is to get a capsule of experiences of all such people who have spent a long time in the field into a pill bite of a tutorial that the fellows can take away as experiences that they can use in their work. So it's not an academic program, but it's a program that will help bridge academics with conservation action in the field. When I first got into conservation 28 years back, I was absolutely keen and I found it very difficult to get into conservation, especially what uh, we were doing in Zoo Outreach Organization then with the Conservation Planning Specialist Group. The different workshops that we organized and conducted were extremely difficult for me to understand. I had the opportunity after about six months to attend an advanced training program in conservation biology at the Field Museum in Chicago, which really opened my mind. It opened my knowledge skills and uh, I have been using those two months of training uh, since to advance conservation. And uh, it's been my interest to impart the same kind of knowledge to others working in conservation in India, in South Asia, perhaps in different parts of the biodiversity rich world, uh, starting with India, of course. So uh, I set up this uh, mission to get this going and been looking for an opportunity to get other Indians trained in this, uh, in this aspect. So the Ram Hattikudur Advanced Training in Conservation is a product of that particular mission that I have had for several years now. And so it gives me a wonderful opportunity and gives us all a wonderful opportunity to be able to help out for conservation within the Indian context and help train young conservationists in this field. I worked with Sally, who was a brilliant uh, conservationist herself. And uh, although with no science background, she was able to put together a lot of scientific terminologies and understand the science of conservation much better than most other people with a scientific background uh, that I, I was aware of. And then we worked together for several years, of course, and uh, worked on various different components of conservation, which as Zoo Outreach does, everything from building networks to understanding who's working on what to uh, bringing people together to train them to build capacity and then get them out in the field to bring in information that is required for conservation assessments, uh, conservation planning and all those different techniques and tools that we use in order to determine a proper action plan for a species. In doing all of this, we not only build capacity, we help uh, train people in, in these aspects, but we also get them to publish the information in a scientific publication, the Journal of Threatened Taxa. And we also publish science communication magazine, Zoo Sprint. So it is a holistic model that we follow. And so we termed it as the conservation engineering model. So that's, that's the methodology we use. And that's the basis for conducting this particular uh, exercise and this training program. So my hope for the fellows is that they are going to take it up as a challenge that they have learned within the course and apply it throughout their life.